My name's Mike and I'm a senior designer at LEGO. I've been here five years now. I work on Creator Expert. And the most recent thing I've done, the newest thing is actually a new modular building. I've made a diner now for the modular street. The modular building series started in 2007. And now we actually have 13 modular buildings. And the idea is that we build these buildings that would fit into hopefully any city, hopefully into the Lego city, that are built on a base plate, a classic Lego base plate that's 32 by 32 modules. And then we have corner buildings, we have strike buildings, we have uh, bakeries, we have, uh, we don't have a hotel. We should, oh, we need a hotel. We actually originally started with the concept of a car dealership because we thought, not only can we get this fun art deco architectural style, but then we can also include cars, which is always fun to include vehicles in the modular street. So we started with the car dealership and it just wasn't quite working out. And then I don't even remember where it came from. It might've been Carl, one of my coworkers who just said, what if we just made it a diner instead of a car dealership? And essentially that's how we got to the final model. My name is Carl and I'm a Lego designer. Not a senior designer like Mike, just a regular designer. And I've been working at Lego for about three and a half years now. So what I usually do is I'll, if I have an idea for something that Mike's working on, then I go to his desk and then I just take stuff off his desk and hide it from him so then he can't do his work. Honestly, it, it, sounds, it sounds silly to say, but I just get inspired buy Lego bricks. I start to look at things around me and I just think, oh man, that, you know, the, the one by six slope brick, inverted bow, it would be perfect to recreate the back of that bus. So it's almost like the opposite of the way that someone else would get inspired of like going out into the world and seeing things that they want to make. I go out and I see things and I just think like, oh, th this piece, that's the piece that would be perfect to make that. Not because I want to make it, just because I see the piece so perfectly in the real world and I just want us to put that in there. <laughs> I have a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering and I really got into that just because I love math. But that's also one of the reasons I love to play with Lego because I just find there's so many cool geometries and combinations of bricks that you can make. Mike is a very special mind. Some might say that he had a very long brain and uh, he can think about things in a way that most people can't, like triangles. I'm really good at triangles and it sounds silly, but Lego is made of squares, right? And so if you want to make something at an angle, which just makes, makes everything look so much more dynamic when you can build something at an angle instead of just straight, always in the grid. I, I think a lot of coworkers come by and they're asking me, hey, how could I get something to sit at this angle? Or is, is this triangle that I built, is that okay? Or is it stressing the elements too much? So uh, yeah, I just love doing geometry the most exciting thing when you're developing a model like this is we actually are making changes to elements, making them in new colors. And for this model, what's really cool is we're reintroducing a classic color, a uh, teal, that we haven't had in the portfolio for some time, but we're actually bringing it back and this will be one of the first products that has that color in it. The best piece of advice I can give to someone that wants to become a Lego designer or even just do Lego design in a more serious way is to stop building things you like. I remember someone asking me, it was a radar or something that they wanted me to build, and I just thought, that sounds so boring. And even though it wasn't something I was interested in, it was really fun to build, and it was really fun to see their reaction to this thing that I had built for them. So my advice is, if you wanna be a Lego designer and you like building with Lego, go out and ask, ask your mom or ask your wife or your husband or your dad or your friend what they want you to build and try to find the thing that you'd least want to build and build that. And if you enjoy that, then I think you're ready to be a designer. When I was a kid, I, um, <laughs> I never thought that I would want to be a Lego designer. It never even crossed my mind because I thought there would only be 10 people that would make Lego sets. And why would they ever quit? You would just work here for your entire life. So it would be impossible to get that job. So I actually never even thought it would be possible. The dream of being able to sit all day and just build with Lego is definitely a reality here, but I never, 
as a kid, I never imagined that. As a kid, I was just thinking, all right, I gotta build as much as I can now, because I can't do this forever. <laughs> but I guess maybe I can, we'll see.